his salt still does its work. Christian suffering leads to glory. I've got a video I want to show you, and this is a video of something that you've never been through, most likely. I'm going to show it to you. I'll come right back up here for a couple closing words to prepare our hearts for communion, but check this out. Watching that, there's a, a part of me that wants to feel pity and sadness. And, and perhaps you'd find yourself in that same place too, where you're, you're thinking to yourself, Man, why? Why do such bad things happen to people whose hearts are so strong with God? But I could turn the question around and ask it differently, and I could say, were any of you inspired to live more strongly with the things that you're facing? to live with more faithful endurance regarding the stuff that you're going through? Yeah, I imagine you were. You'd be hard-pressed for any one of us to say, no, that wasn't inspiring, that wasn't motivating. And yeah, we can ask all kinds of analytical questions. Why would, why would God allow that kind of bad stuff to happen in people? It's, it's because they're salt. It's because they're light. And it's because Christian suffering leads to glory. The man on the couch, the father in the story, runs a ministry at Bethlehem Baptist Church in Minneapolis where he is helping hundreds of other men understand how to raise their children of disabilities better. He is blessing hundreds of people regularly and now maybe even millions through the testimony of him and his life. Yeah, you've never been through that. Maybe someone you know has been through something similar, but nothing like that, nothing like what the Apostle Paul ever had to face. But I want to just draw this to a close with you with just a couple practical questions. See, we can think of the big drastic sufferings, but you face minor hardships all the time. And we don't deal with it very well. Let me just ask you, has someone ticked you off? Has someone cursed at your face? Has someone called you a name? Has someone treated you unfairly? Has someone stabbed you in the back? Has someone cut you off in traffic? Really? And that upset you? Have you ever been flogged? Have you ever been stoned? Has anyone ever tried to kill you and then leave you for dead because of your faith in Jesus? Have you ever been thrown in prison? No? Well, then all I can say to you is what I say to me. Let's get over it. Get over it. Is it hard to bless people who've hurt you? Yes. It's difficult. It's painful. But Christian suffering leads to glory. Is it hard to... to, Give yourself again to someone who has failed you time and time in the past? Yes. But Christian suffering leads to glory. Is it hard to keep your cool when someone yells at you? Yes. But Christian suffering leads to glory. Is it hard to bless other people when you're in the midst of tragedy? Yes. But Christian suffering leads to glory. Because your Savior suffered for you. Today, all I want to give you as a challenge is to embrace those moments where a tiny part of you has to die. Because your Savior gave his entire self to death for you. And because the Apostle Paul knew that facing death regularly is something that led to glory for you and for me who get to benefit from what he wrote.